Hello everyone, welcome to a new vlog. You guys are loving the vlogs, so I'm gonna keep the vlogs coming. Uh, today is Tuesday. James's parents are coming down next week, I think. So basically this week we're trying to film as many videos as possible, but I'm just not getting one more done in a day and I need to be doing like two a day. Once you film, you edit, you do the thumbnail, you upload, it just takes so long. And then to be energized for the next video, I don't wanna sound like I'm complaining, I love what I do, but you know, it takes a lot of energy. I'm like, I need to get up earlier so there's more time in the day to do more filming. And vlogging's kind of different, cause it's, I don't know, more chill. Anyway, I'm having the best breakfast ever. You get quick porridge, strawberries, Blueberries, pepitas, which I think are pumpkin seeds, aren't they? And some little, little chocolate chips. Okay, now it really doesn't look as nice as it tastes. It looked better before I took a bite out of it, I swear. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really looking forward to the Turners coming. I think that'll be really nice. And we've got 50 gazillion outings planned, <laughs> but they all involve food and coffee, so that's pretty good. Um, Cause they really haven't seen around this area properly. Last time they came down, it was all in lockdown cause of COVID. So it'll be nice to actually show them around. Hopefully, fingers crossed, have some good weather now that we're in spring. And the garden is absolutely thriving. And I planted potatoes in our potato bags, hoping that they would be ready to harvest when his parents get here. So then I can make them seriously homemade chips, like seriously homegrown homemade chips. Uh, what else is new? I did a workout this morning. Still haven't heard back from the insurance company regarding the car, so I'm a little bit nervous about that. I don't really like chasing, but I might have to. And period is due in three days. I've had a bit of an upset tummy, so it could be that. I always say to James, winter is coming. And he's like, oh no. So we are due for a garden update. Everything's gone absolutely bonkers because we had a lot of rainfall and now it's warming up because it's spring. It's like the plants are kind of out of control. I might need a little bit of help from you guys who have green thumbs in the comments because I'm not really sure what to do with some of them. <laughs> but let me give you the plant tour, yay. So these are our latest family members. And you know what? I think they're your family members too. I think they're all of our family members. And to be quite honest, I don't even know what this is. Like, was it broccolini? I'm not sure what I planted. I know that's a red Russian kale, I think. And then we've got cos lettuce, I believe. So they're the little ones. Chamomile's looking good. I wanted to make chamomile tea. So pleased with how that's going. And then, yeah, lots of lettuce. Not really sure when I should be harvesting these. I'm thinking they need to get a bit bigger and I'm tipping I just get the leaves from the outer edges like usual. I must have put chives in here or I guess spring onion. Maybe it's all kale. Look, this pot probably needs to be separated because these are going bonkers. Got some nice red lettuce, cos lettuce. Over here is our tomato tray. So I read online that when they get their second set of leaves, it's time to put them into a bigger pot or transfer them. So these are all the tomatoes. So I desperately need to change those into another pot, I think. And then these, these took forever to germinate. Uh, these are chilies, jalapeno, capsicum. I think this is a Hungarian chili. I actually ended up placing these under our heat vent so they would germinate. And finally they're growing and now outside in the sun. Oh, the berries have taken off. A lot of those are dormant uh, during the cooler months. So it's nice to see those growing. Mint is growing, oregano, or as you say, oregano in America, I think. Thornless berries, those were just, they weren't doing anything for months. These are edible flowers, I think. And look at these potatoes, like what? Remember when the bags were only filled like this much? As the tubers stick out, you just put more and more soil on top. And then when they flower at the top, that's when they're ready to harvest. So if James's parents are coming next week, I'm hoping they start flowering. Could these be flowers? Oh, I think they are starting to flower. 
Yay, well by next week, we might be able to actually harvest the potatoes. I'm so excited. And then there's this little door down here. It's like a Velcro flap, so you can grab the potatoes out of there. Our heritage raspberries looking nice. Man, they really went wild. Ooh, this kale's looking good. The red Russian name's really coming through. That color's gorgeous. Uh, and then we get onto the boxes. So this, this long one in there, that's bolted. So that's not good. I'm gonna have to harvest the rest of it and probably pull that out. If they get stressed, they bolt, but I also think they just reach a stage when they start bolting anyway. These are the last two carrots that remain in here. I pulled the others out and they were really short. Uh, I was gonna wait until they show their root because apparently you're meant to pick it when the, oh my God, it's huge. Oh my God, it's really short and really thick. It's a really weird looking carrot, I think. Coming out. Oh my gosh. What? I mean, is this pick too early? Oh no, it was gonna, oh, it looks like it has little legs. It's like a dancing carrot. Wow, that's so cool. Yeah, I don't think that was gonna grow anymore, really. Maybe we should grab this one out too and, you know, allow us to have some space in here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay, this is probably our most successful carrot yet. Whoa, these are actual like carrot carrots. And that's a sad little one in the corner. Cool, well that's good because this uh, soil I can use for something else. But wow, we have carrots. I think I'll grow carrots again because you guys warned me how hard they are to grow and they just come out looking so weird. But that's pretty cool, we grew these. So the next garden patch is going a little crazy. Broad beans grew too big for this box, so probably wouldn't plant them in there again. <laughs> I don't know what to do with them. I don't think you can really move them that easily. The silver beet's awesome, or the rainbow chard. That's so good because it just keeps growing. I keep picking from the outer edges and I just feel like there's a lot of good harvest coming from those. Uh, and then the same with the rhubarb. Like, like, it's really nice having that rhubarb at the back. And then this, okay, these used to be so small to the point where I didn't think they were gonna grow. And then all of a sudden they went absolutely crazy. I don't even know what they are. I'm pretty sure they're mini cauliflower or they could be mini cabbage, but there's no cauliflowers in them. And I'm kind of like, when is the cauliflower gonna show? <laughs> like, can I do anything with these leaves? Are they too, I mean, clearly they're too crowded. So definitely didn't leave enough room with those. And then at the back here, I kind of went a bit crazy with planting stuff as well, that they're just piling on top of each other. There's kale, there's lettuce. It's kind of a mixed bag. And interestingly, this is the patch with the compost worm farm, which is going really well. I like it being dug into the ground. And I think, it's really helping the garden a lot. So yeah, if you have any tips for me on what to do with that little guy over there, would really appreciate it. Cause you girl got no idea. And then we have the graveyard. This is where I just put random seeds and hope that they grow and some of them do. There's really not much news here. I think there's some kale. The zucchini and pumpkin never germinated, I don't think. And we've got some leek and chives down there too. This is all the garlic. I'm hoping this will actually be harvested next year. Garlic takes a long time though. I think it takes over a year before you can harvest it. You wait until these are flowered maybe, or maybe after the flowered you pick them, something like that. Might need to clean this for the birds. And yay, the tree has bloomed again. This had no leaves. But now it's come back, which is so exciting. And this, I think it actually is a cherry tree. Um, pretty sure when it flowers, uh, the flowers will then bear fruit, but the birds get to them before we can. So yeah, uh, don't uh, hold your breath for harvesting cherries, but we do have carrots. <laughs> I know some of you guys were interested in the solar panels. We got solar panels on the house, basically instead of a kitchen. 
really glad we made that decision because electricity is going up a lot and we're pretty much using only what we make at the moment, I think. I think we're even making money back technically. And then over here's my bonus garden. I just thought I would see if anything would grow here. I mean, I did get proper compost and soil and put it in. I dug it out and then put new soil in basically. And it's going really well. We've got some more broad beans here. Kale and then maybe up the end broccolini. I'm not really sure. It's the same mystery vegetable I planted. So yeah, that's basically the garden tour update for those of you guys who were asking. It's airing out some of the nets we had over the grass because we had a few dirt patches that needed to be replanted. Cannot wait to show James these. He's going to be stoked. Look, honey. Whoa. Look how big they oh, are. Like a turnip. Like I a James know. turnip. It's a James turnip and it actually has little legs. This one's going pretty well. Yeah, that one did really well. These are the last two carrots. If you left it longer, I reckon it would have been like even bigger. Do you reckon? Yeah, I reckon. But it started like having offshoots, so I'm not sure. Oh, is that a problem? Well, I feel like maybe it's a problem. I don't know. What? Here you go. No, thank you. No? You can keep. Did you want to get a coffee with me or are you working? I've got to work. Okay. I won't tempt you. This is going to be your dinner tonight. <laughs> James's face is like, <laughs> what video are you filming? It's a secret. Okay. Is it Sims? No. What? It's not. Look at these. Whoa. This is like the coolest thing. I love growing stuff. I just get such a kick out of it, even though they look a little, a little strange. They'd definitely be in the odd bod section of the supermarket. Actually, I don't know if that's a thing in other countries, but in Australia, they sell like the weird looking fruit and vegetable as odd bods. So they're meant to be a bit cheaper. Oh, delivery. These are really, really good to put as garnish or on top of salads and stuff. So if you harvest carrots, don't throw out these because they're really nice. You can even make a pesto with them. We like these. Also, I'm starting a little elastic band ball. Soon it's gonna be so big. This is our little harvest bundle today. Look at that, you guys, so nice. <gasps> oh my gosh! James just found this in the fridge. I didn't think I had any. It's a bonus panna ice cream. It's meant to be. I thought I lost one. I swear I didn't eat one. And I was like, oh, I must have eaten them all already. All right, you guys, I think we should go out for coffee. Just you and me. Mm. Nasty with all this dirty stuff in there. Yeah, but it looks cool. Also, our kitchen's old, so it always looks permanently nasty, even when it's clean. <laughs> Whoa. Is this dry ice? Mm -hmm. I feel like a witch. What's the gobbledygook cauldron poem? Gobbledygook cauldron. Oh, there's like a gobbledygook. Bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. So That's the like one. A gobbledygook. <laughs> Bubble, bubble, boys and very troubled. That's not what I said. Okay, is this a look, a look, or is it too matchy? I feel like it's a look, like it's a cash yet fancy, I'm just gonna grab a coffee and my life is so well put together that my cardigan and my leggings match. Which we all know is a facade, isn't it? The only person who has their life together or the only creature who has their life together is Bowsy. Yes. And the other doggies and pets and catsies. Yeah, he's like, you humans are crazy. We're the only ones who know what we're doing. Also, a lot of folks wished you a very happy birthday, Bowsy. Oh yeah, look at these little ears. Little Shrek ears. Bazzy? Yes, I'm just gonna go out for a little while. I'm gonna get a coffee. I'll be back soon. Okay, will you look after the house? I'll be back soon. 
We've got a hot date. Bye, James. Bye. Film well. I'll see you in a little while, Baz. I feel freedom is a beautiful, oh, I really need to trim. I really need to trim this edge. The jungle out here. Welcome to the great outdoors, Australia. Ah, copyright, copyright. I have to say I'm really bad at backing out of this car still. There's these turns in the city of Melbourne. I think there's like maybe four cities in the world that have these turns. Well, there's probably more now actually, but there's not many. And anyway, the turns are called hook turns and it's when you're turning right. And I really dislike doing them. Everyone's like, you know, they're not a big deal. They're not that hard. But excuse me, they are stressful. I don't care what people say. I will just keep making left turns until I find my way home. <laughs> no, that's not true. I have done hook turns. But I kid you not, the first time I did one, I closed my eyes while making the turn, which is so silly. Walk in as well. The thing is though, you can't film good videos without considerable caffeine. Well, you might be able to, but I cannot. Also, I know I said I was taking you guys on a date to the coffee shop, but I'll probably be too embarrassed to speak to the camera by myself there because otherwise I'm going to be sitting there talking to myself with my camera and I just feel like people are going to think I'm super self-absorbed. Well, maybe I shouldn't care. Maybe I should YOLO. <sighs> what would you do? Would you not care and just speak to the camera? I feel like most of you wouldn't. Maybe some of you, in which case you guys should start YouTube channels. Yo. My name is Yo. My name is Yo. My name is a wicker Gadelli. Yo. My name. Does anyone else rap to their indicator sound? It's <gasps> great. So off I went to the coffee shop. It's good coffee. And I had a batch brew, which is just like filtered coffee, which is very nice and it's warm. And then I like this place because they have a little information. Uh, I don't know, thing that they give you and it tells you about the coffee so you can try and taste the different flavors in the coffee and learn about where it's from. And then I thought I would just check out this thrift antique store. I just thought it might be interesting for you guys to see some of the items that you can get at Australian thrift stores because uh, I'm sure it differs a lot all around the world. I didn't buy anything, but I enjoyed having a look around and I was tempted by a few crystal things because I do love crystal homewares. And I was wondering if this was real, this Christian Dior piece. I feel like it's not, but maybe one of you guys would know. I mean, I wasn't going to buy it, but that was kind of cool. And then some koalas for you. They're not real, don't worry. <laughs> they're, they're toys. Today's working day is not going very productively at all. I don't know, I feel like some days, no matter what job I've worked, there are days when it's just like everything's slow, you don't really get enough done. I mean, some days you just have to get it done, but occasionally there's a day and it's just slow. Anyway, I made my Australiana Mexicana extravaganza. I did this recipe in my recipe video the other day. Like, it's kind of like, Mexican inspired scrambled eggs with pumpkin chips on the side and I added some kale and silver beet. I actually put jalapeno in this one because I didn't have my red ch chilies, but I think that obviously will go. And I also added some coriander. I don't even know if I fully like coriander. Look, it tastes really good. A few of you guys also recommended using red onion. So I put a bit of red onion in. You can do whatever you like. I think tonight's video will be building a house, but every room is a different country. I'm really into the build challenges at the moment. I feel like everyone's done this challenge, but I don't think I have yet. Although, <laughs> let's be honest, I might've forgotten that I've already done it. And hopefully there'll be time for a walk later. Woo! Oh my gosh, you guys, so I just did a recording and I feel like it was so bad because I did the every room is a different country challenge. And the only place that I've been to that I got is United States of America. So that was okay. I don't think it's really a spoiler because you don't see what I've done, but I'll let you guys know what countries I got. 
I got Spain first, which I feel like I did okay on. Then I got Thailand and I feel like I messed that one up pretty bad. <laughs> then I got Mauritius. That one was tricky. Then I got Peru. That was pretty badly done. The United States of America, which I feel like was easy. And then Tonga, which wasn't so bad, but uh, I just don't know how people are going to respond in the comments. I hope I didn't offend anyone by not really being that familiar with the places. Oh well, it was a challenge. We'll see how we go. If it's bad, then we'll never do a challenge like that ever again and we'll forget about it. <laughs> oh dear. Anyway, what time is it? It's 4.53, so it's almost 5 p.m. I think the sun is setting at 6, 6.30 at the moment. So I've still got time for a walk. I think I'll go out quickly get some fresh air, and then I do have quite the edit ahead of me. Um, and I've got to also make a thumbnail. Uh, we've got a lot to do still. This is what happens when I have the go slows. It all catches up. I seriously did not know what to do for Peru. In Thailand, I feel like I just needed to start again. Because I know I'm more familiar with Thailand, Thai design. <laughs> oh. I also got some bathers to try on. I don't think I'll be confident enough to try them on camera. <laughs> I don't think so. That's scary. I might take a picture though and put it on Instagram at some stage. I just got some plain black bathers. A little more cheeky than what I'm used to, but I feel like my butt's looking good. So this may be the point in my life to, you know, make the most of it and show it off. <gasps> I really need to go for a walk because I can't stop yawning. You know, walking energizes you. I know it's weird because your body kind of makes it seem like it's bad to go for a walk because you feel tired. And you're like, I don't want to go for a walk. But in actual fact, it's almost like drinking coffee. It can make you feel more awake. Okay, so what? It's only 25 minutes in total? I filmed for like, I swear, like four hours. What? Jeez, I hope there's no missing footage. That's what I always worry about when I put it in to my computer and then it's not as long as I thought it would be. I'm like, oh no, did I forget to hit record at some point? That might actually be a pretty quick edit, surprisingly. Thailand, oh, okay. Well, I guess I just didn't talk that much. Hmm. Amazing. All right, guys, I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go for a walk and then I'll speak to you soon.